What's up everyone, it's your boy NormRat89 here bringing you another video today and today is going to be kind of a bag of mixed kind of video. We have a little bit of maybe salty news but a little bit of hopeful optimism also in this video as well. Today we're going to talk about some recent news that we have for the Friday the 13th series that's going to be coming out. Apparently this one's going to be on Peacock produced by A24 but we got a little bit of news about the series. I know I promised that I would kind of drop you videos every now and then every time I heard something that was really big and I wanted to wait a few days got a couple more nuggets of news so like I said today you're going to hear my thoughts on the most recent update on the Friday the 13th series let's do this roll it So as it stands, probably about like four, no, not even, it was about 2020. It was it was a couple of years, it was a while ago actually, or 2021. It was, it was pretty good a minute ago that we found out that we were possibly going to be getting a Friday the 13th TV series. Then we got news that we were going to be produced by A24, that, that the series was going to be produced by A24, and that it was possibly going to be a prequel series then we got the drop news that brian fuller was going to be attached to the project if you don't know who he is he is the showrunner for the hannibal tv show so we had some really good news just nuggets of news dropping all over the place here and here and there and then we had the writer strike and then everything kind of halted everything halted and stuff and then now it's, everything's kicked back up again and this is really the first time we've got any kind of news about the friday the 13th series so far besides the fact that i believe adriana king posted a picture on her twitter or her instagram or something of her and the writers all meeting for a like writer session talking about the story and stuff we also got news recently on a story by um or an interview where kevin williamson had a quote where he said he was writing an hour-long chase sequence for a whole episode and stuff like that so there was some nuggets of news and there was movement on this series but now as it stands we have the supposed news that brian fuller is not attached to the project anymore and that's the main news because really we had i believe it was somebody snyder came out and dropped some stuff talking about this guy he's a person who does the in snyder stuff he does like a lot of stuff for uh, scoops on movies and scoops on tv shows and all kinds of stuff and everything like that and he was saying that apparently the show was just canceled and they weren't going to do it anymore and a24 backed out and brian fuller all of it was just falling apart and it was we were not going to get the show anymore as it stands right now we are apparently still going to get the friday the 13th tv series but brian fuller is not going to be attached to it anymore i think as far as i know a24 is still the production company that is going to be producing this television show and as far as I know, it's still going to be on Peacock. I just don't know what route they're going to take. If they're going to go all the way back to the drawing board and just rewrite the show and come up with a completely new idea, or if they're going to try to rewrite and rework whatever Brian Fuller and them were working on. So there's a couple ideas I have for this. I know uh, Nick from the Lost River Drive-In, he had an awesome video where he discussed a lot of stuff and what he thought could have gone down. He thought there was two possibilities and really... The two possibilities and the ideas he had were the best options is that A24 probably wanted to go in a very weird, avant-garde, completely different route from the Friday the 13th franchise, something wild and new, and that just didn't click with Brian Fowler, and that's why they separated or Brian Fuller and A24 like they separated because they one of them wanted to stick really close to home and kind of just make it a very much nostalgia fest homage to the Friday the 13th films from the 80s and the other company or Brian Fuller didn't want to do that either so they just separated so basically creative differences is I think the main reason why the two are parting ways but A24 still producing the series I'm still very excited in terms of my hope hopeful optimism for this is I think I just really want to see Friday the 13th on the television screen. I really think that the Friday the 13th franchise can do with an awesome TV show. Even if it's just a short run show, only two or three seasons, I really think there's enough content and enough stuff in there to dive into it. Like I said, plus it's been 15 years since we've gotten anything 
any kind of movement or any kind of Friday the 13th, new movies, new anything besides fan films, but new actual productions of movies or television shows in like 15 years. So I just really think in the second golden era of television, I want to see Friday the 13th, the franchise, get a chance on television because, like I said, I think there's a lot of content and a lot of stuff that you can deep dive and you know discuss and unpack and all that kind of stuff with going through, you know, Mama Voorhees really dissecting her insanity and her downfall into becoming a killer because of the death of her son or the supposed death of her son, and then have your second and third season, you know, take place in the 80s and have Jason come back and you know witness his mom being killed and then him become the killer so there's a lot of room for awesome stuff like i said you can do a part of prequel but also do it as a remake of the first film kind of as well and do it in like two or three seasons and i think it would work so like i said i still have hopeful optimism i think as it stands right now from my feeling on it I think we're still going to get the TV show. I'm just a little nervous that maybe A24 wants to go very avant-garde, very weird with it, which I love A24. I really like their stuff, but sometimes they can get really weird, and I think that might be a possibility that maybe Brian Fuller, like I said, that's a strong possibility that he wanted to stick real close to home, and A24 wanted to do something completely different and you know just revamp the franchise and uproot it, and a lot of like Friday the 13th fans, we don't know if we're going to be up for that. So like I said, we'll see. Like I really do think we're still going to get the series, but most likely if they haven't filmed anything yet and they're retooling the series and they're going to have a new showrunner, we're probably not going to get this show until probably late 2025 or possibly early 2026. So we're going to be waiting some time still. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I just wanted to make this hopefully a quick one, like five, seven minutes or so, you know, a quick one, just chatting up the updates, talking about the news and recent stuff about the Friday the 13th franchise and the TV show that should be upcoming. Like I said, I'm still hopefully optimistic. Please let me know down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts and what are your feelings? Are you just not like, you know, trusting it at all? You're just like, oh, they're probably going to dump this and we're not going to get this at all. Or do you still have some glimmer? of hope that we are going to be seeing Friday the 13th soon on either the silver, the small screen or the big screen. Please let me know down below, but like this video that definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.